it's now time for Python on Hardware. We do a newsletter every single week, and this is our recap with videos and more. There's so much going on, so I try to pick the best. Here we go. Okay, uh, first up, this is one of the Pythonistas, one of the organizers, um, Felice, who made these earrings using CircuitPython. Isn't that cool? Next up is Pikachu, and this is the mask. Monster mask. It makes noise and more. Big news. MicroPython is now on the Feather STM32. We have it on GitHub. We have it on YouTube. Yeah, it's got merged in, so next release of MicroPython will automatically make binary builds for this. And past us even made a video about this. Go past us. Hey, what is this? This is MicroPython flies on a feather. Okay. We have finally got our feather STM32 F405 MicroPython variant merged in. Damien George says thank you okay. two days ago. And so now I can run MicroPython on my feather board. Yeah. And we still have a couple libraries for MicroPython, like for OLED and this temperature sensor library happened to work. So if you would like to use MicroPython in a feather format, I think this is the okay. first one other than the ESP32 and H66. This is 168 megahertz STM32 F405 and it's the same chip used in the Pi board, now featherified. We're gonna be focusing on CircuitPython on this, but I like having MicroPython available for the folks that like that. Cool. Okay, last week was National 4-H Week, so we had a bunch of sales and we had a lot of information. If you didn't know already, we have a official 4-H version of Circuit Playground Express. It is identical except for it's green and it took a long time for us to get permission working through the U.S. Department of Agriculture to get this on there. So please, 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 if you're in 4-H, please let everyone know in 4-H about this. Professor John had a class and in this class, they were making an app. And for Ada Lovelace Day, they decided to put all these amazing women on this app. And I thought this was good because recently there was a Forbes uh, like top business leaders list, and they accidentally forgot, uh, I assume it was an accident, uh, women out. So uh, the students and the professor made their own version. So I thought that was cool. Nice. All right. Next up, uh, also in that class, they got 100 circuit playground blue fruits. So we were wondering what would happen if you have 100 of these. Um, can they pair? You know, because they're blue fruit, would they be able to figure this out? The answer is yes. Next up, in PyCon DE Berlin, there's photos. There was an excellent meetup for all the folks from MicroPython. Hug report to Christine from MicroPython, who put in a pull request for this newsletter. So we got a chance to add this in here so you could check out the photos and more. And then Adafruit was a sponsor for the Pi Ladies uh, workshop. So you can see all of them here with some of the Adafruit stuff that they made. Speaking of events that are um, going to be coming up soon, Supercon's coming up. And if you look in the top middle on this, you can see. Scott. Scott will be doing a talk about Circuit Python on retro hardware and more. Supercharge your hardware old and new with Circuit Python. So you can meet Scott there. That's coming up pretty soon. Um, and we have hardware going there. So if you're thinking about going to Supercon, you should. And there's also some familiar faces on there. You can probably see Mitch. We just uh, spotlighted Mitch on our open hardware daily post this, this month. Also coming up is TensorFlow World. October 20th, 31st, you will see some Adafruit Python-powered badges there. And that's all we can say about it at this time. It's a little bit of a surprise. PyCon, April of next year, it's coming up. They just posted up about their uh, financial aid, and we'll be posting up more things as the clock ticks down. We'll probably be doing something big there next year. Okay, this is neat. This is CircuitPython, and it's a CircuitPython poster that's powered by CircuitPython. So here is a little clip from the folks who put it together. And here's the team. So you can see this on Code and Solder on Twitter. 
but excellent work. What a cool idea. You take the Blinka's poster. Blink is dancing. Yeah, Blink it dances, and you learn about Python and microcontrollers with a poster that's powered by Python and microcontrollers. Congratulations to C. Grover. This is the string car. It is almost done. It's a Feather string car M4 Express. Uh, the most powerful string car the ever. The most powerful string car. And what's neat is we've been watching this in development over like the last year or so. So I'm looking forward to not only having one of these, but using one of these. Speaking of new Circuit Python boards, Arturo is making a ton of cool boards and there's already variants. And if you like Arturo's work, like we do, you can sponsor Arturo on GitHub. This is a new thing, just like Patreon, but it's for GitHub. And Arturo posted, he's like, hey, they uh, took my application on GitHub. Uh, they said I can get sponsorship now. And now Arturo can get sponsorship. So if you're thinking about it, um, this is a way to say thank you to some of the folks that do cool hardware in the world of Python. And uh, we're a supporter already, so maybe you can be too. The Flowers made the CircuitPython driver for the analog devices AD5689, 16-bit DAC. Check that out. And also there's a board coming. This is a new It's a feather. power featherweight. Yeah. Feather takes flight. For high power. On the 6 to 36 volt power supply feather wing. Supplies 5 volts up to 1 amp from 6 to 36 volts in a feather form factor. Chunky. Okay. This is a bird, and then this is the video of the bird. This is a circuit Python powered raven. That oh. That was, it was like an off-the-shelf thing, and then they decided to... Uh, change it and modify it, and then use Circuit ah! Python to have it move and do things. And this is uh, kind of a two-parter that I wanted to talk about because this is exactly what I think young people or anyone, if they wanted to get into like animatronics and more, this is the way to go. And it's very easy to do that now with Circuit Python. So we posted up this Raven, and in the same week, very same week, Khan Academy has this thing called Imagineering in a Box, and it's a bunch of high level videos and then the type of things that you would need to do. The only thing missing is the stuff in the box. So I'm going to email them and say, hey, y'all are doing these Imagineering stuff. We got these, we got birds, we got this. Birds. We got Cricket. We've been doing a ton of robotics. We even did animatronic and Imagineering like projects for one of our past Ada boxes. So I'm gonna email them and see. You should uh, email them and be like, yeah, Abe Lincoln went yeah. to the Python. The Imagineering in the box. You just need something inside of the box. Yes. Okay. Um, this is cool. This is the Easy Make Oven Controller. This is using a Pi Portal to control um, a toaster oven. And look at this like beautiful UI. It's like yeah. here's the plot and here's how it follows and you can see the temperature. You can make one of these with everything from Adafruit except for we do not sell toaster ovens at this time. Okay, um, there is a lot of CircuitPython stuff going around. This is a CircuitPython going to event and these folks make these little um, cute creatures at the CircuitPython. Uh, it's, it's like a passive touch. Of it. Maybe yeah. like plays audio effects or something. Yeah. Melissa, who is on the show and tell, uh, also showed this off. Make a Bluetooth control. Color changing. Jack o' lantern. You guessed it. Circuit Python. And you can control it with your watch. All right. Uh, this is the FT232H. Uh, Les posted up about this and showed a bunch of cool things that you can do with Circuit Python on a desktop computer and control things. Without even using a microcontroller. Yeah, it's like circuit Python libraries for any PC. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. Okay. Python snakes its way to the AWS Deep Racer. So Deep Racer is this new um, AI um, self-driving car. We ordered one a year ago. It just arrived. We Yay. <laughs> we haven't taken it apart yet. We will soon. But it looks like uh, already it runs Python. So this is one of the reasons that we decided let's make sure circuit Python runs on everything. We just posted up about Blinka running on AWS as one of the examples. So Blinka snakes its way to AWS, IoT. So you can expect to see lots of Python on things like self-driving cars because a lot of the TensorFlow things and more are all in Python. Okay, Scott posted up two videos, so I combined them into one, and you can watch the latest and greatest of what's going on with CircuitPython and Bluefruit with advertising and broadcasting and all the cool beacon things that you can do with Bluetooth. Take Neat away, stuff. All right, take it away. All right, Circuit Python, Circuit Playground, Blue Fruit, Bealy update uh, on this Friday. Uh, first, I've got four Blue Fruits here, one in the foreground and three in the background. The one in the foreground is broadcasting what color the other three should be. 
Um, this is known as blue in Bluetooth land as a broadcaster and three observers. Now, if I just click the button, I can switch. And now you can see that like I'm white and the other three are white. If I keep going, now they're pink. One hasn't heard me. Now they're all three of blue. Um, that's really cool for synchronizing um, which animations things are doing. Um, and if I can go back. The other thing that's really neat is that multiple things can broadcast what the color they want to be. So I'm going to take this green one. Actually, let's make it red for, for Blinka. Uh, let's put this red one over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other one and I'm going to switch the slide switch, which will put it in broadcast mode and click it. And now you can see it's off and the other two are flickering. As I move it closer, it listens better. And let's change this to purple. So now you can see that if I put this one here, these two are flickering because they're kind of equally between the two. But if I take this one and I move it over here towards the red one, it became, becomes red. If I take this other one and move it more towards the purple, it stays purple. And of course, I can still change the color of the individual one. So that's just a quick update on Bluetooth with CircuitPython. Okay, here's a quick Circuit Python BLE update. Been working on scanning and advertising, and just want to show uh, these two devices: the Feather NRF fifty two eight forty and the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. They're not connected. They're only listening for advertisements or advertising. So this one here is listening for advertisements, and this one is advertising manufacturer specific data, and the data is what color it is. So if I click A or B, I cycle through the colors that I've set up and the other device follows along. Um, the goal for tomorrow's work is to get more than one device working so that we can synchronize one device like this with a bunch of other devices all at the same time using the same uh, advertising message. And don't forget, we still have the Code Academy Circuit Python courses going on, and that is the Python on hardware news for this week. There's a lot. Okay.